Hello my friends, I hope you're having a lovely day, and in today's video we're going to check out some Witcher 3, whatever the hell it's called, <laughs> Witcher 3, I don't know, edition. Uh, I have had hardly any time to play this. Um, I have been working very hard on a preview of uh, another game that I can't talk to you about, but I can talk to you about it on Wednesday, and that has taken up all my time. And I am only one man, so Witcher 3 had to take a backseat, but I am going to play it. Uh, I have played it before on PS4. I've actually played all the Witcher games. Um, so I want to uh, just get some gameplay footage out there, talk about the game in general. Like I said, I'm very early on, and uh, I'm just taking it all in. Obviously, Witcher 3 is a huge game. Um, plenty to see and do. Uh, I... I am so... Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to get off the horse. I'm too afraid. Uh, I am so, like, out of the loop <laughs> with with uh, how everything works here. <laughs> As you can see. There we go. You're good, dude. You're good. Uh, but, you know, it's the beginning of the game. I uh, I have controls from other games stuck in my head right now, <laughs> so I'm getting used to it. But mostly I'm just, uh, uh, yes, get on. I'm just checking the game out to see how it is, how it looks. I mean, that's the thing. Everybody's, <laughs> who are you talking to? <laughs> um, is there... Oh, there was another bad guy there. Uh, I... Yeah, I want to see how the game looks. That's what everybody's been talking about. I'm just letting the horse do its own thing, and it has decided to walk into a hole. Uh, if you just hold A, it's supposed to follow the trail, but clearly that didn't happen there. Um, the talk of the town has been the graphics. What's going on with the game's graphics? How's it going to look? What's it going to run like on Switch? Blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, when it comes to me personally, I'm never one that's like... Uh, we're just going to go right past this. Everything's cool, guys. We're cool. Um, oh crap, they're following me. Let's see if I can outrun them. I'm, I'm really not picky about graphics, but I will admit that... I, oh, okay, we're good. I, I was very interested in seeing um, how things looked on Switch, because, you know, it's not a game many expected to ever be possible on Switch. But here we are. Uh, I don't know if I want to talk to people while all this stuff is going on. Let's, like, actually just walk around and... Uh, get into some action, go back and fight those wolves and just check the game out. Uh, obviously, it's not as lo good looking as it is on a PS4, Xbox One, or PC. I think everybody knew that, but the question is, is it passable? Is it good enough to... Uh... Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Is it good enough to uh, make people who've never played it before um, okay with it? And uh, I, I don't know, that's going to be a case-by-case -case basis, but... Um, I, I'm honestly very impressed with how it looks. Um, that, just the fact that this is on Switch in general is crazy to me. Um, and from what I've seen, it seems to run really well. Uh, there's going to be spots where the, where the frame rate gets bogged down a little bit. Sure, that's, that's the case. I think everybody, again, would expect that. But uh, nothing like that truly hinders the experience. It's just an impressive job overall. Can I check out? Yeah. Um, ooh, linen. And uh, this leads me to something that's going to make me sound like a, like an old man. Like, as the Simpsons would say, old man yells at Cloud. Um, it's just... Uh, let me say this. I don't think there's anything wrong with, like, wanting to see how a game runs and wanting to know what the resolution and the frame rate are. I think that's important uh, because, you know, it may make you decide not to buy the game. If you see that it runs really crappy, you're probably not going to be excited to check the game out. I understand that. Um, and it could woo you away from purchasing it. Makes total sense. My uh, personal issue comes up with, uh, well, let me say this, like the Digital Foundry guys, though they do a, f oh boy, I think I've bitten off more than I can chew here. We're going to be running away from this fight. <laughs> no, you're good. Oh, yeah, real not good, real not good. <laughs> I got what I, it's what I asked for. Um, 
Yeah, Digital Foundry does an extra, excellent job of showing off all that stuff and really giving you an idea of like uh, how things run and what they look like and how much time is putting into put into it. And they talk in all kinds of like technical terms and they really know their stuff. I really think those guys are great. It's not personally my kind of thing, but I think they do an excellent job at what they uh, try and get across. So I know there's plenty of people out there that want to do that. Well, I'm not getting involved with that again. Can I take on multiple wolves? Let's find out. Um... But then there's, like, so many other videos out there that, like, they are, like, so into showing, like, every little bit of scenery and every little bit of, um, you know, like, yeah, 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 I'll be fine. Like, this branch looks like this, and this leaf looks like that, and this, and then they, like, zoom in on it and show it, like, super up close, and, like, you know, uh, Geralt's hair looks like this up close, and I'm like, who the hell, like, I don't know, again, this makes me sound like an old man, but I'm like, is, is someone gonna be like, oh my god, look at how that tree off in the distance looks so, uh, pixelated compared to other platforms. I'm I'm not gonna buy this game. Like, <laughs> I I just think it's like overkill. I de again, I definitely think there's a discussion warranted uh, when it comes to visuals, but like, uh, you know, I think it it's taken t too far in some instances. Like, uh, and you know, I I understand some people are just curious to see what it looks like, and I can uh, I can understand that. Like, I am curious too. And I do think it's overkill, and I do think it's silly to take it down to that kind of level. Like, stuff that you would never, like, that would never impact gameplay. And stuff that, uh, you know, you wouldn't notice unless you zoomed in like crazy on an image. But, you know, it, it is, it plays into how the game runs and how the game looks overall. So, I, I get it. But, I don't know, are there people that are actually like, no, like, that sign in the distance is too blurry. I, this is a this is a no buy for me because I mean like looking at this now it's not the best looking version of the game but it is running very well like it's running steady I haven't had any issues what's up dudes gotta go <laughs> um so it's impressive to see it's just I think you know it, <laughs> everything I'm saying is uh, I'm sure gonna make uh, people angry um but like I don't know when exactly it happened. I guess it technically happened back in the 16-bit days. Um, when we became more obsessed with, like... Nope, nope, nope. What games look like, and, like, how many megs a cartridge was, and, like, what the names of the processes were for the graphics. And, like, I remember being a stupid kid, like, in school, being like, Oh, the, the Super FX chip has this stuff and can do this kind of thing, and... Genesis kids being like, I also owned a Genesis, by the way, but Genesis kids were like, you know, uh, Genesis can do, uh, has blast processing and can do FMV like this. And, you know, it was a stupid discussion. It was a stupid discussion then. It's a stupid one now. <laughs> but, you know, I was a little kid. So let me take out my sword here. Uh, that stench. Um, but, you know, I was, I was a kid. But I feel like that's... This is not going to go well. I feel like that's what the majority of the discussion is on the internet now. Like, it's, I, I sometimes I make the mistakes of what, reading comments. And it's like, hey, <laughs> Rummy. Um, you know, it's just endless fights about how many pixels and uh, jaggies and... Uh, uh, frame rate and resolution and uh, ray tracing and like I'm like oh man does anybody play games anymore are we just always obsessed with what it looks like and it's always about bragging points and you know it could be the same thing I went through when I was a kid um it's just guys I ain't gonna hurt you <laughs> um it's just you know the internet connects everybody together now and kind of breeds that kind of discussion but, um, what, what, you, you guys, cool it, everything's cool. Um, and it could just be a lot of little kids talking online, so they're doing the same thing I did when I was in school, just they're doing it online now. But although, you know, I feel like I see, like, older teenagers and adults, like, getting into this kind of discussion now. I'm like, oh, man, 
is this really what's going on? It's like we're caught in a loop of like that just makes that conversation go on forever and ever. Um, and I find it embarrassing. So just from a technical standpoint, yes, I do find it interesting to see what's going on with these games. Uh, really dive deep into um, how ports like this look and how they work, and what might be different, and yeah, uh, like a real technical analysis of it, like Digital Foundry does. I really love that stuff. I find it interesting. It doesn't really influence my purchase or anything like that, and I'm not nearly as nitpicky with graphics as some people are, and I'm not saying that's right or wrong, just that's the way I am. Um, so yeah, I think they do, it, you know, that's like the gold standard, in my opinion, but then for that, uh, for that group, there's like a whole bunch of others that just like use that kind of over-the-top tech technical analysis to flam, to uh, span flame wars and stuff like that, and it's embarrassing. You know, there are content creators that do that stuff just to fuel those conversations, and others that are just, you know, doing a not as sophisticated look as Digital Foundry would. So I guess I can't blame them, but I'd be interested to hear what you guys say. Um, because obviously Witcher 3 is bringing that conversation to the forefront. You've seen a lot of gameplay footage here of me just wandering around and doing terribly. Yes, yes, I know all that. But, um, you know, I, I thought I'd see what you guys have to say on the matter. And also feel free to share your comments on what you think of Witcher 3 in general uh, on Switch. What do you think it looks like? I can't believe I just randomly wound up back where I started. <laughs> That's crazy. That was not planned. I was just wandering around. Uh, so that's it for today's video. Again, uh, Wednesday, I will have something very exciting Wednesday morning. Can't say what it is. Super, super, super excited to share it with you. Oh my god. I just, I, that's all I can say. I don't want to spoil things or get in trouble. Uh, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. Also, a huge thank you to our Patreon followers, our supporters. Thank you so much for supporting me over there. It allows me to do videos like this where I sound like an old man and complain. Uh, also, go Nintendo in general. The website... Uh, the podcast, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. If you want to learn more about the Patreon, which is just a dollar, you can click on the link in the description below. But uh, that's it for today. I will be back tomorrow with something. What it is, I don't know. We will find out. So until then, have a lovely day and a lovely evening. And I'll see you in a few short hours.